Hello everyone. In this video, I will show integration routes to proxy with Cakewalk. So why I decided to configure routes to proxy with Cakewalk? When I started to configure Zipkin with, uh, to get spans from services between communication of the services to get delay time from UI, I couldn't find easy and good way how can I integrate with OIDC protocol Zipkin UI. And do that, I have decided to choose OAuth to proxy to achieve this goal. So just imagine some user won't try to open web domain name in the web browser zipkin.example local. Inside of this deployment, I mean pod works actually Nginx, which get traffic and forward to OAuth to proxy, which works inside of Istio system. Actually, namespace, it doesn't matter where you will deploy this, just easy and quickly to deploy to map where works service. I have implemented all the stuff inside of Istio system because the Zipkin service works inside of Istio system too. I have deployed it before. And if, of course, when traffic comes to our to proxy with from Nginx, and it, it will be redirected to the cake lock. In case of valid username and password, it will go come to inform Nginx and Nginx will redirect traffic to the Zipkin service which works inside of Istio system namespace too. So just imagine traffic comes to Nginx with this domain name then redirect to our to proxy if after validation inside of Cakelog. Of course, in the behind of Cakelog, Active Directory configured in the previous videos which I have shown integration, you can see we, we already configured domain controller for where all users comes with the user federation to the key block. In case of valid username and password, traffic from this domain from Nginx I mean, will be redirected to the Zipkin which works inside of Istio system. But before starting to go to the configuration, I want to say all stuff which I will show you related to OAuth to proxy even Nginx, I got from official page of OAuth to proxy itself, which we see right now. So I will close this part, even manifest which I have used uh, in my configuration, I'm in Kubernetes. All these code files, code files pushed to this GitHub repository, even at the end of the video, I will write inside of description on the YouTube video, you will see this. So important part inside of Cake Lock, I want to say inside of clients and the Realm Infra, I have configured walls to proxy client and inside of client scopes, important part. When I started to debug walls to proxy, I got errors Audi and Smapper and inside of OAuth to proxy client I have configured Audi and Smapper which we see right now. So that's it actually uh, from Kicklock client part which I did here. I will switch to the deployments. It is usernames which we test uh, to open Zipkin example local actually domain. Any of them we can use it doesn't matter because I didn't configure here roles. And I think Zipkin UI don't need roles to get, I mean, there is no place where admin and viewer role we can use. It's not important stuff to prepare roles. So it is configuration of the Nginx. Important part here, I want to say, uh, when we go to interface, which traffic will be redirected to our proxy, it's creating session cookies and the size of the session cookies, it was more than four kilobytes. That's why this configuration is needed to achieve our goal. And the important part here, as we see from the name, variable get the service name, which works inside of Kubernetes name, namespace is to system with the name of the proxy and upstream URI, it is Zipkin itself, which works inside of Istio system namespace. All this stuff, which I have configured, you can get from official document documentation, which I showed to you, even myself get this stuff from there, but the issue which I faced and showed to you, it was with this side and at the same time resolver. Uh, when Nginx trying to communicate with these services, Nginx cannot understand how it can resolve these domain names. And do that, I said, and this is my hypothesis of the code and DNS, which works inside of code system, please ask to this IP address to resolve the domains which I'm showing here in line 21 and 22. 
So I will close this config map. It is deployment of Nginx, which maps to the configuration which I showed to you, Tazen Mapper. And the service name for the Nginx, it doesn't matter too, because uh, I have configured the virtual service which maps to service. That's why I've showed to you the service name and our domain name, which in reality, user will input in the browser to open Zipkin UI, actually. So I will switch to, it's not important, configuration to allows to proxy service name and to open directly allows to proxy our configured virtual service too, but we don't need this here because our engineers communicated to our proxy with the internal service, then in public domain name. And inside of deployment of all of the proxy, we can see I'm going to download Git nami all of the proxy latest image. Even from environment variables, we can understand client ID, client secret, cookie secret, realm URL, all this stuff I got from official page, as I said before. Line by line, when I faced an issue, when I started to debug, and then found answer from official page added here. So that's it, actually. Right now, I will switch to incognito to open Zipkin. Even from the logs, we can see what will happen. In the downside, it's logs of the engines. In the upside, of all the proxy. So I will log in with TO and username. So that's it, actually. All the proxy redirected after the validation of the username to the Zipkin UI. Even from here, we can see TO and username open the Zipkin UI. Even from this part, we can see loaded from the Zipkin endpoint. Even if I will open another incognito browser, oh, it, it is already loaded. Let me open it again and, I mean, it is inside session inside of the browser, that's why it's not asked us please input username and password. Okay. So we can use another username. It is loaded. We can see from the logs username which I have used right now. So that's it actually, I hope it will be useful.